Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Welcome new subscribers. So nice to have you with me. Leo. As promised, Leo. Leo, let's get her on and let's get her done. We're using the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. Leo. Ah, looks good so far. Wow. Okay. Okay. Holy crap. Leo. Younger energy here. need money. They're waiting for some sort of ship to come in. This is someone who needs money. This is someone, I guess, with the C-19. They're not doing too good. Might have lost a job. Might have been laid off. They're waiting for a ship to come in. Probably another job. Or this could be you. Well, you got a great passion for somebody. It's, it's you. This is Leo I'm picking up on. You got a great passion for someone, for something. You're trying to bring something to pass. Something that you've got. Some sort of a little project or a big project that you're working on. Could be a YouTube channel. Now what I got is the um, possibility of someone coming with some sort of an apology. So we have an apology coming in. This is a younger energy. I'm probably speaking to a younger Leo also. And when I say younger, anywhere from 17 to 30. And what I have is someone who's very, very, mm, very emotional. Might have been called out on their emotion too. Very emotional person. Someone, uh, here we have a Pisces. And we have an Aries, but what we have here is someone who's very, very emotional, someone who's easily hurt. Either it's you or it's them, but someone's going to come and take a leap here. There's an apology coming, there's a leap forward. In the past, this person was your emperor, your empress, whoever is watching. But I feel that there might have been a judgment call against this person for some reason. But you might have brought your sword down on them. Might have uh, been a little bit, um, not so much aggressive, but you might have called them out on something. Now there is a change coming in, and that change is a whole new world. Stepping from one cycle and into another. And the cycle right now shows a uh, possibility, Leo, of you walking away or them walking away. Now, the thing is, we can either go from one cycle into another, straight ahead, or we can walk around to the back door and go through that same cycle again. Depends on your mindset. Depends on how you feel. Your emotions. What I got is someone's coming, holy crap, someone coming forward here. We got some kind of communication coming in about a wedding, about some sort of a party. Maybe somebody wants to move in with you. Some sort of uh, communication text message. There's a lot of passion. Now this passion, Leo, this person sees you as everything that they want. But they also see you as a little bit of uh, a little hard to get along with here. little hard to get along with. And they're coming forward and they see you as very beautiful. Very beautiful. With the Queen of Pentacles here. She takes very good care of herself. Leo. So this person's coming forward. They think, though, that you're a little bit strict or 
maybe your emotions are a little bit, uh, maybe you're just very emotional. But you're told to use your intuition here. You're told to use your intuition because there's a possibility someone may have some options. And if it's not somebody that has options, it's somebody that wants to have options with you. And I think that's what's happening here with the Sun card. This is set in stone. This is someone who is coming back, coming forward. I'll say it's coming back, but the world card here, stepping out of one cycle and into another, it could be somebody new. Because I don't see anybody coming back. Whoever this is sees you as their son, sees you as their health, their healing, their well-being, their love. And, yeah, it's somebody new, Leo. It's somebody new who's coming in here. Got a lot of passion for you. They see you as beautiful. They see you as kind of sensitive. But somebody like you doesn't see clearly with this new person. You don't see clearly. This person wants to offer you the sun. They want to offer you options. Uh, you're not. You, you're being told to use your intuition here. That this person really does care for you, but I don't think you're going to see it, and I think you're just going to walk away from it. And why? Why? Because the bastardo is here. Because the bastardo comes out and says, well, there's someone that you left in the past, someone that refused your cup, somebody who might be a little bit of a player, someone who might be a little bit angry. So it's obvious the past is coming back, taking away this delightful person that you've met. I had a reading like this similar today. And try as you might to be defensive against this person, uh, you can't because it's a soulmate from the past. Coming back to talk. So I've got two people here. Two suitors. So it's somebody from the past that wants to come back, something that had ended and is now being renewed. And what is it that keeps you with this person? Because I see they might be a bit of a player. I see they might have a little bit of anger issues. But they have issues. But there's something about the love and the intimacy and the sex. There's something about it that they're just, well, the best. And what I have here is with the devil to someone that probably has addictions. And addictions can mean just about anything. Just about anything. But look at the devil in these cards. I mean, look at the body and everything. I mean, this person's in really good shape. Athletic looking. Sexy looking. And then right beside the lover's card, it just kind of tells me that the, the love making with this person is like something that you have never experienced before. This is a soulmate, a game, but you've been told to stay on course. It is a soulmate, and no matter what their addiction is, it's really hard to just get rid of them. But there's a lot of passion, and that's what keeps it coming back, is the passion for this person. And you're being told, as the Empress, as the Empress, the Queen of Queens, the one who can have an idea and bring it, and bring it forward, and make it reality, you've got to make a decision here. Because I think that maybe you might have your priorities 
kind of wrong. Because somebody good has come in and you've walked away from this somebody who would eventually want to marry you. There's instability here. Holy jeez. There's instability here and there is the universe bringing it back up. And the reason the universe bringing it back up is there's a lesson to be learned here. There is something that you must understand about why do you keep going back to this person. What is it and why is it? And what is this lesson that I must learn about myself? Not about them. What is this lesson I must learn about myself? And there will eventually... <laughs> Oh, there will eventually uh, be manifested an ending and then the tower. Leo, I kind of read something like this last night. There will be an ending and there will be the tower. I don't know if it's a certain type of person that you, that you like. If it's a bad girl or bad boy or just a difficult person or somebody that you're trying to tame. But I see somebody very, very beautiful, lovely coming into your life here and just walking away from it. Because I really feel that it's not your type of person, but you've got to go within, Leo, and find out what it is that you attract the other type of person. What is it about them that you fall for them? But in the end, you'll get some answers. That's for damn sure. There's some fight over money. Uh, there could be a problem with money here, as in the beginning. Uh, you might be starting up a YouTube channel or you got some kind of a thing about money. But there's waiting for something to grow uh, and not holding something very close to your chest, which could be uh, this thing that you're trying to get off the ground. If you've got some kind of a project that you're working on, there's a possibility that as you wait, you, you it grows old kind of thing instead of sticking to it. And it brings you great heaviness letting you think, oh, well, that failed. That that didn't work. That failed. But you gotta really you gotta put a lot of time into something sometimes in order for it to to happen. But I do feel that at the end of all of this you will receive your answers with the nine of cups and spiritual. That you will receive your answers, that you will understand exactly what it is that happened. And you know what? And instead Damn, Leo, okay. Instead of trying to understand, um, I mean, the universe is going to open up your eyes here and give you the answers. But you don't, you don't trust yourself and you don't trust the universe and, and you still, you find it like you're trapped. You still feel like you're kind of trapped here. You feel like there's no equal give and take and that your heart is just, I'm in heartbreak and there's a lot of pain and nothing seems to be working not my youtube channel nothing's working here and my nine of cups you don't even see the nine of cups because the nine of cups is working on your spirituality but um you don't see it but you got to go within to see it got to go within to get rid of this heartache and you got to go within to get rid of this entrapment and then you'll get equal give and take but it's a different kind of equal give and take it's not material. It's not material. It's this. It's spirituality. It's spiritual. It's finding you. Finding answers. And finding answers about yourself. And seeing yourself in a whole different way. Holy crap. Leo, that's a hell of a reading. It's a hell of a reading, darling. Spirit is tickety-boo today. <laughs> I 
Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.